Good morning. We are going to the pantry to get Christmas decorations. Cool. So huh? let's go. All right, let's do it. Okay, somewhere in here. But we are all right, Mama said there's one Christmas colored tote and one blue tote. Right. I say this is the most blue. Oh, yeah, Christmas time. Oh, there you go. It's a gray tote. We'll put them here. She's so cute, but now I should probably help her. Run, run, little child. Get to the warm house. We got so much snow in such a short amount of time that we bundled up the girls so they could play outside, and we got to work. You can see Alyssa here cutting the edge of the snowmobile trail to define the edges again, while Joe uncovered the snowmobiles. Here's Alyssa cutting trail down to the root cellar and Pippin following in her snowshoe tracks. You could definitely see how the root cellar was starting to get really covered in, and here comes Alyssa down the root cellar trail from another angle working hard. All right, somewhere under there, Alyssa is bound to find a snowmobile sooner or later. I think I found them. Just... Oh, there's two of them there, huh? Yeah, good bravos. <laughs> and right here, my machine is, you know, starting to emerge. The beautiful blue tarp is popping out from the white snow. We ended up with 27 inches of snow in just under 24 hours, making for our November total so far. Today's the 29th and we are at 51 inches in November. Again, I will repeat, we had four inches last November. So it's a little bit of a shock for us. We gotta get these snowmobiles out. Didn't plan on using them until December. Here, how about, Woo! how about I video and you scoop? <laughs> I gotta do both. You gotta vlog and scoop. This is what I like to call <laughs> the vlog and scoop. <laughs> See? Nicely done. Got the porch cleaned off. Again. And you might be asking, Zach, why are you still videoing snow removal? Well, it's because three days into it and we're still doing it. I want to show you this real quick because shoveling out the cabin doors is something we usually don't do. The reason I gotta carve out a trail to this first cabin door is because it's where we put all the Christmas presents. So, you know, hey, we usually don't get much snow before Christmas. That's what we thought. So now we gotta dig that out, get to the Christmas presents, probably move them somewhere else because we're gonna get more snow before Christmas. How's it going? You didn't get stuck at all? I, I'm gonna say no. No, I didn't get stuck. You came close. I came close. We've had no animals around in a long time besides those caribou that we showed you in a couple videos past. But uh, this morning we had a ton of chickadees and moose show up. So that was kind of cool. The ptarmigan. Oh yeah, and ptarmigan. But I didn't get a picture of the ptarmigan. They went flying away too fast. But back to work. More snow removal. This might be the snow removal episode. But I don't know. Nothing else I can really say. But I got to get back to work. So that's about it. Well, hello. hello. All right, Alyssa is inside getting some firewood. I'm putting it from the sled into the box and she's transferring it into the house. We've got a temperature this morning of five degrees. I like cold and clear, the beautiful Joe and the beautiful blue skies. The Sun came up at 1042 this morning. First time we've had blue skies in probably two weeks. And with blue skies comes cold temperatures. So we're at five degrees with a little wind this morning. And that means we are putting some more logs on the fire. Alyssa's grabbing there. Perfect. Teamwork. With the cold temperatures also, the lack of snow gives us a little break from all the shoveling we've been doing. And yeah, that's, it's nice to take a little break. You check out what I've done here. I have made sure that snow piles up against the house 
Look at all that snow. That berm is taller than you back there, Howie. It's cold on the paws, isn't it? But I have made sure to shovel snow and you can see the heat escapes from under the house and starts to create those holes there. Like that one, for example. So Joe and I always go around the houses and just scoop snow, tons more snow. You guys probably know why, but that is because snow is a fantastic insulator. And the more snow around the house, the better. The house stays warmer, you, you use less firewood. And so yeah, that's, a, that's one of our chores. We kind of go around and toss snow around the house. Check out this up behind me here, all the snow that's on the roofs. We got a total of 60 inches, five feet exactly, snowfall in November. Now at the beginning of December, we've got three inches. So that's fine with me. It can stay at three inches for the rest of the month. Keep this cold and clear. Now, Joe and I are gonna go off bombing through some powder to create uh, some trails. We gotta pack down trails. We're gonna go, we're gonna go south. We're gonna pack down the trail that we're gonna use for the remainder of the year for hauling firewood and hauling in supplies. And then we're gonna pack a trail north because that is where we're gonna go looking for a Christmas tree. We wanna make sure the trail is safe uh, so we don't get stuck with all the families, you know, little kids out there like I did last year. If you want to check out that video, that was a little bit embarrassing. This year we're going to be a little more prepared. So let's do a little riding and have some fun at the end of this video. <laughs> all right, 60 inches of snow is definitely good for some things having a blast out here. Now we're on the quest for Christmas tree. Let's go. Alright guys, so we scouted some trees in this nice little forest down here. We're going to come out here in a couple days, it's supposed to warm up. We'll bring the wives and the kids, and we'll probably let the wives pick out the Christmas trees. We found quite a few good options. So I just wanted to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment below, and uh, maybe tell us one of your Christmas tree traditions. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. I was just getting a uh, second angle over here. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. See you next time.